All right, my friends, welcome back. And so last lesson we looked at, you know, finding an equation to represent a problem. We didn't actually end up solving it, but today we are going to do that using addition and subtraction equations. So we're not going to worry about multiplication division, um, just finding the variables and the equation for a problem and then uh, actually finding the answer. So to start off, how many candies are in the bag and how do you know? All right, let's say Dustin was washing cars at a car dealership. He washed 68 of them, in fact, and he had 89 cars to wash altogether. How many more cars does Dustin still have to wash? So we're going to write an equation to solve this problem, and we're going to use W to represent the number of cars Dustin still has to wash. We could use C for cars, but let's just use W to, for about washing. And so we know something. We know that there's a total number of cars, and we know there's some cars that he's already washed, and we know that he has to add the cars still to be washed. Washed. So an equation could be 89 equals 68 plus W. So please remember the total number of cars was 89. He's already washed 68, and we don't know how much cars still need to be washed. That's what we're trying to find out. Were there any other equations we could have written? Yes, I think there was a few other ones, but we could use this one. Well, here's two ways to solve this equation. We could use something called guess and check. So we could guess a number for W and then test to see if we're correct. So what if we guess 10? Well, remember it was 68 um, was how many washed and we're trying to get 89. So if we add 10, so maybe I'm gonna write that original um, equation we had 89 equals 68 plus um, w okay so if we substitute 10 in here does it work well no 10 plus 68 is 78 that's too low so what if we guess 30 well 30 plus 68 is is too high it's 98 so if we guess 21 and i'm kind of cheating there it is the answer um, we can discover that 68 plus 21 is in fact 89. So W equals 21. So when we write uh, our work, and this is important to show your teacher, um, you always start with showing the equation. So 89 equals 68 plus W, that's showing our work. I'm doing guess and check, so I would you know, do this every time. Does 89 equal 68 plus 21? Uh, I would figure that out. So I would say, yes, it does. But to answer, you would say W equals 21. That's how you should show your work. So show the formula, show your work. Your answer is W equals. Okay, well, the second way we could solve this problem is something called inspection. And so here's our here's our equation. And so which number do we need to add to get to 89? So we can use subtraction. So subtraction and addition are actually uh, inverse of each other. They're opposite of each other. So we can say, you know, if we subtract 68 from 89, we will find out what is, what is left over to do. So W equals... 21 so Dustin has 21 more cars to wash we need to try this one the Seattle Seahawks football team has 53 jerseys some of the jerseys are new 18 are from last year how many jerseys are new so we're gonna use J to represent the number of jerseys that are new so I'm gonna get you to write an equation how can you write an equation to represent this problem once you've got your equation, I'd like you to guess and check or use the inspection method to find the answer and then you can answer. So pause it right there and come back when you got an answer. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is write an equation. So we know they have 53 jerseys, so that is the total number. So I can say 53 equals. We know some of them are new, we don't know what that is. So let's say I okay, J right there. J and we know some are from last year and that was 18. So an equation could be 53 equals J plus 18. There we could have said 53 equals 18 plus J. Um, you could use a subtraction equation here, but let's just go with this one. So let's guess and check. So I need, if I'm gonna guess and check, uh, how about, I don't know, 20. 
If I substitute 20 for J, 20 plus 18, I can do that in my head, is 38. That's too low. Uh, let's go 40. Just double it. 40 plus 18, and again, I'm substituting it for that J, is 58. That's a little bit too high. So I need to go down a bit. It's actually 5 too high. So if I go to down 5 to 35, does 35 plus 18 equal... 53 it does so my answer is um, J equals 35 now if I do the inspection method that means I am looking to go to a subtraction here so 53 uh, minus 18 is going to equal my J so I can show my work here uh, I need to borrow 13 minus 5, 8 is 5, sorry, 4 minus 1 is 3, there I could find my answer again. So whatever method you chose, either guess and check or inspection, uh, you still get to the answer of J equals 35. And it is a word problem, so we probably should say um, there are 35 new jerseys. Go Seahawks! All right, get you try another one here. A Subway sandwich is 48 centimeters long. Kelly, I don't know if that's true or not, I just made it up. Kelly cuts them off for lunch. After she cuts away some, the sandwich is now 19 centimeters long. How long was the piece that was cut off? So we're gonna use S for the sandwich um, to represent the length of the cut piece. So I'd like you to write an equation. And then again, I'd like you to either guess and check or inspection to find the answer. Pause it, come back when you're ready. Okay, so um, we know how much, how the total um, that it started off with, that was 48. So 48 equals, and we know, well, there's another number there. That we know that 19 centimeters are left. So I could say 19 plus whatever was, you know, whatever was cut off, which was S. So 48 equals 19 plus S. Okay, that's what we're going to work with. If we guess and check, it's always, I mean, you saw it in the last example. Let's just pick uh, a multiple of 10. Uh, in fact, let's do 20. Let's substitute 20 into here. So 19 plus 20 is 39. Not quite there. Let's go up to 30. 19 plus 30 is 49. Oh, that's one too high. So it's got to be 19 plus 29. And let's just double check that it is in fact 29. 9 plus 9 is 18. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 48. There we go. So the answer here is S equals 29 centimeters. Always write the unit. Uh, if we do the inspection method, we start off with the total and we're going to subtract um, what was left. That should equal what was cut off. So 48 minus 19. Got to do some borrowing here. 18 minus 9 is 9. 3 minus 1 is 2. And again, we get that 29 centimeters. So in this lesson, we learned about using equations and using it to solve some, some life problems. Um, I know you are solving all the Seattle Seahawks problems, but um, something more realistic is you're cutting things away. Maybe you're doing some construction, like maybe you want to go into construction. You need to know how, to, how much to cut away. Using these things is definitely going to help you, these equations. So please remember, in life, math happens. Take care.